Sampson here, and the game is not yet underway. Ralph Sampson, number 50, just over the mountains here from Harrisburg, Virginia, against Pete Butko. Now, Butko's six, eight and a half, but he can leap at the tip, just barely touched by Sampson, and North Carolina's going to get it. Al Wood running down the loose ball, and North Carolina controls the tap. Doesn't happen often against Virginia. Well, that's good strategy by Coach Dean Smith. They tried, Butko went up and challenged him, and then Al Wood stole the tip. Virginia starting out in a man-to-man -man defense. We'll look for them to shift a lot today. Gonna be on Al Wood. Wood charging with the ball. That's the first foul of the game. Turns it over to Virginia backcourt. North Carolina will use a variety of defenses. Their switching defenses usually drive opposing teams up a wall. Let's see how Virginia can handle that. Here's the man they would depend on the most, Jeff Jones, the point guard. Man for man defense for the Tar Heels. They'll try to get it inside to Jeff, uh, to Sampson. There it goes to Robinson, and a crowd foul on the play. Great pass by Jeff Lamp. He penetrated the baseline, drew the defensive man over, open, and hit Craig Robinson for an easy layup. Robinson will get a chance for a high, for a three-point play. Postal foul was against uh, Al Roy, which is his second of the game. He's the Olympic star for North Carolina. So he gets two fouls in the first 37 seconds. Three-point try for Robinson. Two-nothing in favor of Virginia. Loose ball. And now there's Jimmy Black to get it. Black is tied up by that. Jimmy Black was a little careless that time getting up off the floor, didn't see Lamp behind him, and didn't protect the basketball. Dean Smith charging his player was held, but the official was right on top of the play. The jump will be here at the Virginia line. Lamp a big height advantage over Jimmy Black. Both are guards, but Lamp at six foot six. Get the to Jones. Virginia still got it. Rake a perimeter. Rebound out to Mike Pepper. Raker's not had a good shooting December thus far or early January. 2-0 in favor of Virginia. I guess the press are looking for the backdoor cut here. Maver man, Sampson does not come all the way out. They may use Butko outside just to get a release for the ball against the press. Now Pepper inside, Worthy puts it up in close. Rebound, Woods got it out of the basket, and let's see, it's gonna be a foul on the play against Virginia. I think on Robinson. Yep, that'll be on Craig Robinson, number one against Virginia. Al Wood did a good job there in traffic. He certainly did, and Carolina did a good job working the basketball, being patient on offense, and trying to move Ralph Sampson around. Finally, Worthy got open for a good shot, his shot underneath the basket. Virginia's got the only two points of the game thus far. Weak side pass to Pepper. Now zone here from the Alabama situation. Lava to Worthy, baseline. Worthy ties it up for North Carolina at two. James Worthy showed that he has some respect for Ralph Sampson, but on the other hand, he shot that little 12-footer right over Ralph. Still a man for man by North Carolina. And here's Lamp spinning away from his man. Jeff Lamp open. Way down by Butko for North Carolina. North Carolina chance to leave for the first time. Virginia back quickly on the defense. Here's Worthy in close again. Ball batted down. Picked up by Sampson. Robinson created that play for Virginia. Cavaliers can untie it. It's 2-2. Lamb being guarded by Pepper. They may try to exploit that. It's a little bit of a mismatch, Jeff. Well, that's the great thing about Jeff Lamb. He's 6'6". He can play outside. He's a great shooter, but he'll also take his man inside when he's got an advantage. Hawking defense. Rakers got it for Virginia. North Carolina really going after the basketball here early. There it is, Sampson. A hook shot. Sampson. And the rebound. Sampson going for it. Fouls. Or is it Robinson? Let's see. They were both there. Up foul's going to be on Sampson, his first. Good defense here by Pete Butko. He got Sampson about 12 feet away from the basket. Nice shot by Ralph, but they both go back for the ball. Sampson's called for over the shoulder. 2-2 two -two tie. We've played two and a half minutes. North Carolina against Virginia, number 13 versus number three in the national poll. Higher ranking. Man for man defense by Virginia. That's what they like to use for the most part. North Carolina's passing game. They'll try to get the ball to Worthy or to Wood. And there's Jimmy Black, the outside open. 
Jimmy Black scores for North Carolina. Tar Heels lead for the first time of the game. Four to two. Defense has been the main thing thus far. Out close to the five second call. There it is. Five seconds before Jones can get the ball to another player. And the jump will be at the Virginia free throw line. Carolina is overplaying all the outlets, making it difficult to swing the ball around and get the ball into Ralph Sampson. That time they were able to tie Jeff Jones up. There's two little guys going to the ball. This has been an interesting jump. Four to two, North Carolina on top by two points. Neither could get a hand on the ball. We're going to go again. The officials are Charles Reed, James Harvey, and Mike Tenko. Three-man team here. That's uh, Bill Guthridge, just to the left of Dean Smith. He's been his uh, assistant for a number of seasons. Ball tipped out of bounds. And will be Virginia's ball. Black got the job, but there was not a teammate there. Terry Holland, who was started it all for Lefty Grizzell, was one of his first great team at Davidson. Assistant coach there before coming to Virginia. Head coach after left to left. Zone here for North Carolina. Now, this is from the inbounds pass. So let's see what Virginia wants to do. They got uh, Lamp, who can shoot the outside. Also, Raker. And that's Lamp, baseline. Lamp come off in the first two shots. 3 2 break. Jimmy Black to the middle, and Virginia cuts it off nicely. Credit Jeff Jones inside pass. Worthy. Great take by Worthy. Nice. Worthy they got loud. Sampson in the air. Great move by James Worthy inside. He faked the ball. Sampson went for it. Again, challenging Sampson and making a nice move to the basket. Six unanswered points by Virginia. Four point, or by North Carolina. Four point lead by the Tar Heels. Now Robinson takes it in for the duck. Sampson is there, puts it up. And let's see, a whistle, I think, before the shot. They might have gotten Sampson with a technical foul, but for that whistle. Here we see Butko helping out on defense, making a nice attempted block. Sampson gets it. Black comes in from the side, grabs him. He's called up for the foul. Little grab on the rim there. That can still be a technical foul, Jeff, regardless of the uh, whistle. They're not allowed to grab that rim anytime, I don't think, even on a dead ball. Or even in self-defense. And that time Sampson did. His feet were knocked out from under him a little bit. He did grab the rim. The referee missed it. That's the one spot in Sampson's game where he is not really outstanding. That's the free throw. He's hitting about 57% from the free throw line and over 61% from the field. Gets both of those, though. His first two points of the game, and it's 6-4. to four. North Carolina's lead is two. Now Sam Perkins is in the lineup for North Carolina. So the prize freshman is in there to face Sampson for the first time. Jimmy Black in the wood. Little zone here by Virginia. North Carolina just whipping the ball around. I think that's a mistake. There's Perkins. Great fake by Perkins. Blocked by Sampson. Perkins got him fake, but then Sampson recovered. Certainly did. Ralph Sampson's not used to these players challenging him inside, but he did make a nice move. Hello blocked by Sampson. Oh, Worthy on the fast break. Robinson down for lost it. Robinson lost the handle on the fast break. Jimmy Black was there anyway. We played almost five minutes in a low-scoring game. The museum home place, Monticello here, Jeff. It's a great place to visit. Six to four, North Carolina leads Virginia by two. Virginia has switched to a zone defense now. They're back to the man for man. Ralph Sampson's going to be on Sam Perkins. Sampson with two great blocks a moment ago, both Perkins and then Worthy. They want to get it to Perkins, North Carolina does. But... Now Wood off the drive. Wood comes through to score his first basket. North Carolina back up by four. For the fans that don't get to see Al Wood that often, he is a great shooter, truly one of the great shooters. He's had a little slump recently, but look for him in conference play to be very tough. There's Sampson up over his man, and Perkins grabs the rebound. Ralph Sampson off to a slow start here today offensively. Worthy down floor off the break. Mike Pepper and North Carolina leads by six. Biggest lead yet, 10 to four. A game just a little more than five minutes old. North Carolina's got the big jump. Carolina drops back now into a 2-3 zone, sagging in. They'll give certain players on the Virginia team the outside shot. Not Raker or Lamp, but perhaps Robertson or Jeff Jones. 
There's Rickner on the outside. That's not the one they want to give it to. He's a fine shooter. I just spoke a tie for number 10 all time. Mike Pepper didn't take long for him to make up his buy with Samson. There's Pepper again. Mike Pepper hitting from the outside. North Carolina 12-6. North Carolina is the first of these two teams to start uh, finding a shooting touch. Both were a little cold at the outset. Defense, no doubt, had a lot to do with it. Sampson is forced a little bit so far. There's another miss by Sampson. The Raker fouling on the play. Round looked like he might have hurried a first shot or two. Had plenty of time then, uh, Jeff. But he has just uh, had a bad start. He certainly has. I see Coach Holland up off the bench that time. They'd like Sampson to work down low. And that time he was at the free throw line. He missed the shot. He wasn't there to get his own rebound. And that hurts the Virginia team when he's out that far away from the basket. Well, the six. Six-point lead by North Carolina, the biggest. 13-15 to go in the first half. Now Wood, a great drive. Over Sampson, tipped in by Perkins. Perkins got the tip on the backside after Sampson forced Wood to shoot two high runs. Eight-point lead. Frustrating play for Ralph Sampson, too, Jim. He, he came over to help out with Wood. His man, Perkins, was able to tip it in. Foul's going to be on Mike Pepper. That'll be the first foul on Pepper. Third team foul against North Carolina. Pepper, who gives North Carolina very accurate shooting from the perimeter. That's his forte. Only three team fouls. Just be an inbounds play here for Virginia. Cavaliers score, have been outscored 14 to 4 since they got the opening basket. Now, North Carolina in a zone, as they always are, from that inbounds pass. Shot thus far, so is Sampson. There's Robinson at the top of the circle. Sampson tips on the outside, but Black's got it to North Carolina. Jones back defensively. No break. Ball is off Jones, off to Black's hand, out of bounds. So Virginia will get possession again, trailing by eight. 14 6, 12 and a half to go in the first half. North Carolina back to the man for man. Sampson being guarded by Perkins, the freshman. Carolina playing good man-to-man -man defense. Jeff Jones had to ask Sampson to come out and help him. Again, pulling Ralph Sampson away from the basket. As Jeff Flapp in traffic, can't get it. Rebound is by Perkins. North Carolina has uh, taken command a little bit here in the opening minute. Perkins on a fake. Cut off by Sampson. Here comes Pepper on the drive. Pepper with six consecutive points, and it's 16 to six. North Carolina up by 10. It's been North Carolina's type of game: pressure, defense, faster tempo than Virginia normally likes to play. Jeff Lamb finally breaks out of his drought here at the outset. That's his first basket. 16 to eight. They'll throw on a pressing defense. Intercepted by Raker. So Virginia gets the turnover back. Chance to make four straight points. Try to come back into this lead of North Carolina. Now Sampson has yet to contribute, except at the free throw line. There's Raker trying to cut it to six. Robinson fouls, going over the shoulder of Butko. Second personal foul on Craig Robinson of Virginia. And there's time out of the action with exactly 11 minutes to go in the first half. North Carolina remains on top by eight. It's Tar Hill 16, Cavaliers 8. And has taken away the momentum with its defense. And the Tar Heels lead 16 to 8. They once led by as much as 10. One change for Virginia. And that is brought freshman Othell Wilson. And to join Jeff Jones at guard and Jeff Lamp will take a break. Lamp has been off his form, only two points up to now. North Carolina is going to go with the same five. That means Perkins is in the middle against Sampson. 
Against the pressure defense, North Carolina trying to open the middle, look for the back door. Jimmy Black driving, a reach-in foul by Jeff Jones. Jones does not have the quickness to stay with Jimmy Black, and he starts right. No, and Carolina is doing such a good job right now of moving the ball on offense. They're making the Virginia team really work, and particularly Ralph Sampson. He's probably had to move earlier in this game than he has in most because Carolina's playing that motion offense. There's Sal Perkins, a set play, a slam dunk on the inbounds pass, a perfectly executed inbounds play. He caught Virginia sleeping that time. It wasn't all Sampson's fault. There was a pick from behind. The man didn't alertly switch. 18 to 8. You can screen against the zone. Don't ever think you can. Another 10-point lead here by North Carolina. There's uh, Gates, and this is Wilson. Sampson, look at that reach by Sampson. That's his first pass. Ralph Sampson scores almost 10 minutes without a basket. Nine minutes and 49 seconds before he scored. Now it's 18 to 10. Mike Pepper, well, he's been hot for the Tar Heels. Now he's double teamed down there, but gets it out with Jimmy Black. Alwood, look out. Boy, what a smooth hand he has from there. He's a great outside shooter, as we said earlier, and that's his shot from the corner. 20 to 10. Zone defense, North Carolina, over 1 3 1 with Worthy back on the baseline. They're really dropping back now. They're going to force Virginia to shoot outside. With Jeff Lamp out of there, Virginia doesn't have as good an outside shooting team. Raker's still good. And now there's Othell Wilson, the freshman. And rebounds taken away by Worthy and Perkins. North Carolina comes down with a 10 point lead, 20 to 10. Tar Heels have won 10 out of 13 games. Virginia undefeated through its first 10 games. Getting a severe test as we expected they would here today. Al Wood, super move by Wood, gets three over Raker. Six nice. points for Al Wood. And a very good one-on-one -on -one move. That time he took Raker down low, just shot over him. Good defense by Raker. He just couldn't do anything more. 22 to 10. North Carolina by 12. It's biggest straight up to now. North Carolina has really counted Virginia here, forcing them outside. Ralph Sampson, 15-footer. Sampson can't get it inside. He comes out top of the circle. Great shot, and again, shows the versatility of Ralph Sampson. But again, for, for Virginia's sake, they need him down low. Base by Worthy. There's an out. Don't give me too many duck shots inside. There was Sampson around. Zone defense by Virginia. Long one by Pepper hasn't missed yet. Mike Pepper with four straight shots in this game. Three of them from right that position. That's quite a lift for the Carolina team and of course a disappointment to Coach Terry Holland of Virginia because I'm sure that Pepper was not one player that he expected to get hurt by early in the game. 24 to 12. He's always been a good outside shooter though. Now Samson has to come out on Perkins. Samson goes around Perkins for the dunk. Won't count. He was fouled by Perkins as he went by. So Samson tried to take something into his own hands. Made a powerful move, but Perkins fouled him going through. Well, it's going to put Samson at the free throw line. First, we'll get a timeout here with 7.41 to go. In the now here's Virginia trailing uh, North Carolina by 12 points. Jeff Lamps back in the lineup for... The Cavaliers, the North Carolina's going to stick back in that tight zone. Boy, look at everybody in the dark area here in the lane. Just about one guy coming out to put a little pressure on the ball. Everybody else sagging around Ralph uh, Sampson. I've what, never seen him play this tight of zone, Jeff. Well, tribute to Sampson, isn't it? I think Coach Dean Smith knows that Virginia does have a cold hand. They've had some good shots. They just can't get it to drop. And he's kind of daring them right now, see if they can hit a couple before they come out. Oh, batting way by, uh, just fumbled by Terry, and here comes a dunk by uh, Sam by Worthy. Didn't really dunk it, but a beautiful fast break layup. And North Carolina leads by 14 points. And a great play by Jimmy Black that time, taking the ball right down the middle, making the defensive man commit, and then hitting James Worthy for an easy layup. Right back in the zone defense. They're forcing Virginia's hand here. They're going to have to get a hot hand outside, or maybe forget this one, because North Carolina's really moving away. In the corner of the camera, you might see Dean Smith. He's up saying, drop off, drop off. Sam forgets the tap in. 
That's eight points now for Ralph Sampson, but he's been negated here by a collapsing defense. That's going to be a personal foul blocking against Virginia on Terry Gates. Well, Terry Gates was it blocking or charging? Dean Smith was up. Oh, here goes Jimmy Black trying to get around the corner. Terry Gates had pretty good position. Referee called the block. I had a bit it didn't give him the room, Jeff. There's right. something about that, too, you know. And someone once said that Terry Gates is called for a foul as soon as he gets off the bus. <laughs> but he is a very physical player from Louisville Ballard High School. Played at the same high school team with Jeff Lamp and Lee Raker one year ahead of them. Went to Stetson, and then after Raker and Lamp came to Virginia, he transferred. North Carolina gets possession on the foul. It was team foul number six, so one more will be uh, the limit. Well, actually, they've had their limit. One more, they'll go to the bonus. North Carolina will. Man for man for the Cavaliers. Inside Worthy. Blocked by Sampson. Oh, what a play. Let's see if Virginia can pick up from that play. Here goes the outside shot by Jones. Sometimes, Jeff, that play, a play like that will start a team. Certainly can. That, that was a four-point swing. Worthy had a good opportunity underneath. Sampson blocked it, and Jeff Jones hits, hit a much-needed outside jumper for Virginia. Half a man defense again by Virginia. But caught inside by Gates. Oh, here's Perkins outside deep. Oh, what a big basket that was by freshman Sam Perkins. 28-16. That shuts the crowd down a little bit. And that's a big factor in a game like this. Zone defense again by North Carolina. Cavaliers in the dire need of some outside power. Ralph sets the baseline. In, out, rebound, Perkins. Ralph Sampson had a good shot. He also had the whole Carolina team around him, and it wouldn't drop. Now Worthy, Worthy double pop, still blocked by Sampson. Up again by Worthy, rebound by Jeff Lamp. Here comes Virginia on the break. Lamp left side, Othell Wilson, baseline partially blocked. Rebound out to Jimmy Black. This is North Carolina style. A running basketball broken up by Sampson. Cavaliers have it back. Play getting a little wild. Jeff Lamp takes over. Worthy unfound. First foul on James Worthy. Harry Holland fielding a little bit at the other end. Doesn't want his team in that type of racehorse uh, style. Both coaches a little upset. It got a little bit physical at two times up and down the floor. In fact, Terry Gates and James Worthy really had some pushing matches. Jeff Lamp made a smart play, got Worthy off the floor, knew he could draw the foul, and he goes to the free throw line for two. Ralph Sampson's going to get a rest. Lewis Matamore, a 6'9 senior from Dayton, Ohio, comes in to replace him. And Jeff Lamp will be at the free throw line, one of the all-time great free throwers in ACC basketball history. Hitting almost 91 percent. He leads the ACC right at this moment in free throw percentage. He'll draw two shots. Jeff's a lot stronger, put on a little weight, up about 200 pounds after weightlifting program over the summer. 28 to 18, 10 point lead by North Carolina. Now Jane, uh, Jim Braddock is in a guard for North Carolina. Ricky Stokes in for Virginia. Stokes, an excellent defensive player, just a freshman. Excellent. Yeah, this is the blue team for North Carolina. We'll set them up for you. That's Braddock. Here's Chris Bruss on the inside. Foul on the play by Lattimore. Lattimore fouling Bruss. So let's set these North Carolina players. This is what North Carolina's coach Dean Smith calls his blue team, where he substitutes an entire team. Number 50, Cecil Exum. There's Lattimore who committed the foul. At the line, number 45, Chris Brust, is a 6'8 junior from Babylon, New York. Also, there's Eric Kinney, a senior from Asheville, North Carolina. Jeff Braddock, who you've seen handle the ball. And also, there's Jeff Barlow, who's a 6'7 junior walk-on from Fifth Wave Arena, North Carolina. Brust will have another shot. Eleven point lead, 29 to 18. Ricky Stokes now, younger brother of Bobby Stokes, who was a great player here. Now here's the jump trap by North Carolina. 
They use a variety of defenses in another one. Jeff Clamp out of the court. 29 to 20. Virginia now putting on pressure. And there's a blocking foul. Call the guest Laker. Oh, a close call. Raker was in good position, thought he was at least. Man drove to the baseline. He wasn't there in front. Good call by the official, blocking call. The crowd didn't like it very much, though. So. That'll be a blocking foul on Raker. That'll be his second foul of the game. Dean Smith uh, now is going to bring his regular team up. He just brings Worthy and Perkins, Wood, and Black back in because C selects them. Has to remain in to shoot the free throw. He's up for the one and one. So Smith has come back with his front line up now. The blue team was in. They outscored two to one, so it's 29 to 20. Not much damage on there, nine point lead. There are the statistics on Exum. Outstanding student from Dudley, North Carolina. Banks it in, I'll see that often. That was his first free throw attempt of the season. I know he was a little tight, but he kept it straight and it banked in. A lot to be said for accuracy, I guess, just like golf. That'll be Worthy's second personal foul. Worthy over the back, picks up number two. That's team foul number six against North Carolina, or is it number seven? That's number seven on them. So Virginia will go to the baseline, the free throw line now for the one and one. And it'll be Craig Robinson shooting. Craig is over one today at the line, although he was an outstanding scorer in high school. Craig Holland, Jim Laranega to his left, and uh, Craig Little Page to his right. Staff's had a lot of success here. Virginia won the NIT a year ago. Back number three in the country this year. Right down into Worthy's hands. Ten point lead, North Carolina, 30 20. The biggest lead was 14. Virginia may have to keep the man for man defense on. Down by 10 points. North Carolina looking to get the ball inside of one of his big men. Now Pepper though will take it. First miss, where they blocked by Sampson. Foul on the play. That's by Jeff Jones. Second foul on Jones reaching in. Nice play by Worthy inside, getting the rebound, and very quickly, here's the rebound, getting it strong inside, and quickly getting it up before Sampson could come out and bother him, but he was fouled on the way up. Worthy will go to the line for two shots. James Worthy, who was one of the outstanding freshmen last year, broke his ankle after 14 games, missed the rest of the year. And he came back this year, Bothered not by the broken ankle, but by tendonitis in the other ankle. Tip back out to Jimmy Black for North Carolina. They hang on with an 11-point lead. And a technical foul has just been called against Terry Holland. Holland can't believe it. Technical foul. North Carolina will get a free throw and then retain possession. Al Will will go to the line and shoot it. Terry thought there was a, should have been a backcourt called there, but... Gets two shots, remember, the foul. foul on the coach. Early 20 North Carolina taking advantage of a great first half here to build a commanding lead. 33 to 20, the Tar Heels. Allen still beside himself over there. He's going to get a break right here as we get a timeout with a score. North Carolina 33. And Greensboro. And the age is classified, right? <laughs> well, he's our traveling mate around the ACC through the winter months. One of the great guys in this league's history. 33 to 20, North Carolina leads by 13 points. The biggest lead was 14. Our heels have been led uh, by Woodworthy, Perkins, and Pepper thus far in their scoring, and uh, really. Complex and effective defense. Wood driving on Jeff Lamp. Everybody coming out to press except Ralph Sampson. He hangs around about within 15 feet of the basket. 
Consequently, Perkins is always available for an outlet pass. Like right there. There's the lob to Worthy, but Sampson's there. Intimidated him. Three-second call. Intimidation of Ralph Sampson. Respect for Ralph Sampson. 6'9", James Worthy, very strong player inside, saw Ralph Sampson and decided I'd better take it back out. Here's the pass swinging around. Good pass into Worthy. Sampson comes over to help out. Worthy decides, hey, I better get rid of it, but he didn't do it soon enough. Now here's Virginia back live, the other end. North Carolina packed back in a tight zone defense. This goes strategy, forcing Virginia to keep the ball away from Ralph Sampson. And to do their shooting from long range. Raker from the perimeter. Rebound will come to Jeff Jones. He walks. Traveling by Jones. That was a rare offensive rebound for Virginia, and they turn around and give it back. Virginia playing very, very tentative, knowing they have to hit a few outside shots to loosen that defense up that Carolina's playing. They can't get it to drop, and Jeff Jones, out of frustration, walked with the ball. Right now, North Carolina can call the shots. The Tar Heels are in the driver's seat. There's the turnover, surprisingly. North Carolina seven to only three. The Tar Heels defense, though, is forcing a different game to Virginia. Jim, and Virginia is getting their shots. They just can't seem to get them to drop. And, of course, if they could, then Carolina would have to switch to another defense. 13-point lead for the Tar Heels, 30 to 12, 33 to 20. Now the four-corner spread here. This is just a minute, 35 to go in the first half. North Carolina going to spread to their famous uh, four corners, putting a man in each corner of the attack court. Another man handling the ball. Jimmy Black. It's kind of the quarterback, and Black walks. Turnover out of the four corners. Very alert call by the official. Jimmy Black just shuffled his feet a little bit before starting that drive. Virginia needs points now before halftime. They're trailing by 13. They'd like to get it down inside 10 if they can. A minute 24 to go. Sampson's coming out top of the circle, wanting the ball. North Carolina sagging back, keeping two men on Sampson. Jeff Lamp trying to penetrate. Jeff Jones in the baseline. That was a good play with Jones going the baseline on the backside to get open. 33-22. Now less than a minute to go. Back to the four corners as North Carolina and their spread. Elak to in the back door here. Sampson hanging around the basket can all with it. Virginia can afford to press Jeff, and there's the chuck. Five seconds without a pass. North Carolina's four quarters has backfired here in about a minute they've used. It. it certainly has. They've lost the ball twice, or at least have an opportunity to lose it twice. Jeff Jones, good defense on Mike Pepper, causing the jump ball. With Sampson back there, the other team can really go out and take chances and press. Tip this to Sampson. So Virginia's got the ball with 35 seconds to go in the half, trailing by 11. Basket here could be the big psychological lift, at least for the Cavaliers. Jones trying to penetrate. Wilson penetrating, gets it on the inside. Taken down by Worthy. Outlet pass to Pepper. Here comes North Carolina off the break. 15 seconds to go. Smart play by Al Wood. He knew there was time left. They want the last shot. There's Wood on the inside, charges. Charges by Wood. That could be a very big play. That's three fouls on Al Wood. Three plays on fouls on Wood, and good defense by Lee Raker. Good position, knowing that Al Wood probably wanted to take that last shot. He played good, honest defense. Only five seconds to go, but Dean Smith's going to get Wood out of there. He had Buck go off the bench immediately. Virginia has got a chance to get off a shot here. Five seconds. Trailing by 11. Lamp, Lamp will take the shot. There, oh, Gooley does not get it off. Lamp could not get off the shot in time. And so, North Carolina will be up by 11 here as they take the break of intermission. That's the end of the first half of play with the score. North Carolina 33, Virginia 22. To Jones, Virginia controls. Down 11 points. I guess the man for man defense. Here's, a, here's the ball kicked out by Wood. They're really collapsing on Sampson, who's complaining now that Bud goes on his back. Jim, these first three possessions are really kind of critical. Back and forth the first few times to see if Virginia can get on track and perhaps to see if they can stop Carolina. 
There's the zone, something Virginia saw a great deal of in the first half when they were collapsing on Sampson with the lead. Outside shooting wasn't there. Robinson walks, a turnover by Virginia. And that only four in the game, but they seem to come at critical times. North Carolina has turned it over ten times in the first half. Virginia, Virginia's two finest outside shooters, Lee Raker and Jeff Lamp, were three for 11 the first half. And, of course, that explains part of the Virginia problem. 33-22 North Carolina. That's the first possession of the second half. There's Bud Cole, ball away shot. Sampson has it for Virginia. Cavaliers moving down. Not a fast break. North Carolina's back quickly. Jeff Lamp gets free of his man, tries to bounce it inside. The foul by Worthy is the third on Worthy. North Carolina is uh, beginning to flirt a little bit with foul trouble. Al Wood with three. James Worthy with three. Out of bounds play against the zone. Virginia, of course, cannot expect Ralph Sampson to do all this by himself. They need outside shooting. Jeff Jones, perimeter, whistle on the play. Jones hitting. A foul is against North Carolina. That's going to give the ball right back to Virginia. It could be a four-point play. Very big basket and a big play and the kind of momentum that this Virginia team needs. And it's got the crowd fired up, too. 33-24. Lead is down to nine. There's Raker corner. It's 35-26. There's Lamp on a drive. Baseline forces up a shot. Rebound is off to Pepper. Here comes North Carolina on the move. Nine-point lead by North Carolina. Bud Cole tries to get it back to 11, and he does. North Carolina zoom right back to its halftime advantage. Oh, they stop the Virginia rally for the moment. And that's a good basket for the Carolina team. Ralph Sampson didn't come out on Butko that time, trying to play defense down low. Butko hit the outside shot. It'll pull him away from the basket. Back in the zone defense. Lamp, baseline. He is off the mark. Lamp has not had his shooting form. Here comes Pepper feeding to Al Wood. Wood shot, and he's got it to North Carolina with six points in a row. Back to a 39-26 lead. Almost to its biggest lead of the game. They led by 14 in the first half. Zone defense for North Carolina. Cannot get it inside to Sampson. They tried there and Worthy broke it up. Lobbed up by Cole. Rebound down to Jones. They tried the alley oop with Sampson not quite in position. Virginia now showing a little more patience. And pull within seven. Pepper, a drive by Lamp. Lamp now trying to take charge. 39-28. That's the halftime margin, though. 11 points for North Carolina. We played three and a half minutes in the second half. A oh, battle of quickness and size here in this one. Let go take that shot. That time Samson is out on him. Carolina using great patience on offense. As another drive by Pepper. Mike Pepper just having a spectacular game here for North Carolina. 41-28. Not only did he beat his man that time, but he kind of floated it over Ralph Sampson's head and laid it softly on the glass. Quick side to Jones. They cannot get Sampson over. They go cross court to Raker. Under the lamp for an easy. 
That's 10 points for Jeff Lamp. And let's see. The stop play here for something Jimmy Black. Some question. I think we're going to get a timeout. Sam Perkins is coming in the lineup for North Carolina with 15 36 to go in the game. Still an 11 point lead by North Carolina. The same as Dean Smith's team had at the halftime. So we'll be right back here at University Hall in Charlottesville. The Tar Heels up 41 30. One brief run at North Carolina here in the second half. They cut the lead to seven, but Mike Pepper went to work. And the Tar Heels went right back on top. Now they're up to their same margin they had at the halftime, 11 points. They have a change for each team. Sam Perkins has returned at center for North Carolina, and Othello Wilson is in backcourt for Virginia. They're giving Pepper a rest. Jim Braddock is coming at point guard. So Braddock will team in backcourt with Al Wood. It's a big team in here for North Carolina right now. Perkins Worthy and Buck Ball. Oh, Perkins Worthy's hand. And Virginia has a smaller team. They moved Jeff Lamb up to forward with both Wilson and Jones in the backcourt. And it didn't take long for Dean Smith to get Jimmy Black back in the lineup. Black, who has established himself as North Carolina's leading playmaker. 41 30, North Carolina. Tar Heels. Stacked back in the uh, tight zone again. Lee Raker outside. Virginia will need that kind of shooting to get back in the game. With Raker and, and Lamp on the wings, it'll give them good perimeter shooting against the zone. Also gives them a little bit more quickness defensively, and perhaps they can press a little stronger. Samson not coming out to press Perkins. That leaves him free against any pressure defense. And Virginia might do this. There he is, always available for the release. When one man doesn't press, that, that man's always open and it takes a lot of pressure and, and hurts the press. There goes Wood on a drive. Right with him is Jones. They thought they had a mismatch. Wood on Jones. Jones you know, Jeff's on a six foot four. That's three fouls on Jeff Jones. Very valuable man for Virginia. The chief playmaker. Almost a soul player. He's their ball handler. He's the guy, the floor leader, the guy that runs the show. Played good defense that time, but he bumped Al Wood as he went up for the shot. Al came before the shot, actually. That's why there's no free throw. Virginia now in his own. Not kind of like get Al Wood open. Perkins inside. Good touch pass to Butko. Now the third to Wood. Outside. Rebound Sampson. Tries the leading rebound in the Atlantic Coast Conference. Othello Wilson, jump shot by Riker. Again, they've got it to seven. That's 41 34. Nice offensive penetration by Wilson, created that opening for Riker. He drove to the basket, then punched out, and Riker looks like he's getting the hot hand. Second time, the margin's been down to seven points in the second half. A lot of time to go, 13 40. Back door Worthy. Here's Worthy inside. Beautiful play. Worthy got a screen on the baseline. Came back door. He's also being guarded by Jeff Lamp. 6'9. Worthy against the 6'6 Lamp. Worthy just turned around for an easy shot. Virginia almost went to sleep there. Didn't get the ball in bounds. Here goes Waker again. And there's Sampson to follow. Sampson short. Rebound. Perkins has it for North Carolina. Last break, there goes Worthy on the drive. What a shot by James Worthy. Great move by James Worthy. 6'9", made a guard move that time by pivoting and using his left hand. What a great move. And for the second time, North Carolina's responded from 7 to 11. There is Jeff Lamp, Jeff Joel. Laker fights and foul. Laker fights for the basket and draws the foul. That's eight points for Raker the last two or three minutes. 45-36. What an aggressive play. Here's that last play by James Worthy. Faked the pass, spun around, came back with his left hand over Sampson, and a great play. Well, you can't make a better play than that. That's four personal fouls on Al Wood. 
And the margin is not so big, but what that could be a crucial call. Very crucial call, and what a great hustle by Lee Raker. Getting the offensive rebound underneath, going up, making contact, putting the shot in, and he's got a chance for a three-point play. Uh, Raker, who's about two and a half points off his uh, average from last year, has become the sole uh, number 10 score of all time for Virginia today. He has almost 1,200 points. 45-36, nine-point lead by North Carolina. Closest Virginia's been able to get is seven. Ricky Stokes, well, this is quick on quick here. Stokes and Black. Raker guarding Worthy. Oh, that's a big challenge for Raker. See if North Carolina tries to get the ball to Worthy. Al Wood and Lamp was holding. Jeff Lamp holding. Only the first foul on Lamp. Team foul number two on the Cavaliers in the second half. Jeff Lamp, who is showing signs of taking charge along with Laker. They were great high school teammates before their college days. This is a much quicker team for Virginia in there now. They're doing a better job defensively. They're making Carolina work a little bit harder offensively. North Carolina's uh, taking Budko out. They got a little quicker lineup now with uh, both Pepper and Black. It's a great guy by Wood. Al Wood, they were trying to work Wood, and they finally get him for his 12 point. 47 36. I'm surprised Wood stayed in there with four fouls this, at this stage. Othello Wilson, going to be way short. Stolen by Wilson. Wilson goes up, and he's fouled by Black. That was a great steal by Wilson after what looked like a feeble attempt to shoot. Not great shot selection by Wilson, but he hustled after it, got it back, and got fouled in the act of a shot. Wilson will go to the line. Hasn't missed a free throw all TV year. Time, okay. Nine for nine. Jeff Jones. TV time. Wanted to return. 11.51 to go in the game, which is quite a great win so far. But they have uh, been able to get within seven and no more. So Terry Holland's team has an uphill battle. Yes, they do, but they're showing signs of life in the second half. They're playing better, hitting their shots a little bit better. If Carolina falters, look for Virginia to be right back in this thing. 11.51 to go. There's the man has been uh, doing a lot of the comeback work for Virginia Lee Laker. Zone defense here by North Carolina. There goes Jeff Lamp penetrating on the inside. Nice move by Lamp. Worthy came out and challenged him. He had to float it a little bit high, but he showed a great shooting touch. 47 to 38. High point lead by North Carolina. Ty Hills have refused to crack, though, in the face of two brief rallies by Virginia. Sam Perkins playing it very gingerly here against Ralph Sampson. North Carolina has done a great job of holding on to the ball and using some clock and making Virginia work on defense. Samson uh, had Perkins well away from the basket. Here's Virginia's chance to get back with eight seven again. Long one by Wilson. Big shot by Wilson. He had the opening, but he wasn't shooting well in the first half. 0 for 4. 47 to 40 for the third time. Virginia has cut the margin to seven points. Ten and a half minutes remaining. Oh, here goes Pepper. Whoa, what of these rare misses. Samson has got it for Virginia. The Cavaliers control with it five. Well, this crowd's going to go wild if they score here. Samson had a duck, but he was fouled by Perkins. Othello Wilson was first. Will be the second foul on Sam Perkins. Oh, I think Ralph was about to put that one away. I believe he had an easy <laughs> shot, the high percentage shot we yeah. talk about. Absolutely. I'm going to show it to you again. Watch Samson at the end, Jeff. It's a great rebound by Samson. He keeps it alive there, and then he goes up very strong to get it. Lamp to Wilson. Wilson doing a good job offensively. He sees an opening to the basket, decides to take it, and he's fouled on the way. Well, they're going to come back to the live action. No one by Wilson. Good one. That's the shot that Virginia couldn't hit the first half, and they're starting to hit it, and they're back in this ball game. 
27 to 42. Jimmy Black charges. blocking here. Jimmy Black saw an opening. Lee Raker came over to help, but he was still moving. Good call by the official blocking foul on Raker. That's three fouls on Lee Raker. And that's going to be team foul number three against Virginia. North Carolina's committed five in the second half. Alabama's play coming up for North Carolina. Five-point lead. That's the North Carolina story right now. They've been up by 11 at halftime and for a good part of the second half. Virginia, Virginia's best rally and the third one of the second half. Each time Virginia's made a move, North Carolina's going back to its 11-point advantage. I guess the zone is just, you know, there's Perkins flashing inside. Or Samson was there in the Change Perkins' mind in a hurry. Cutler's been the big man all day. Again, he goes from the outside. When they need the basket, he's been Johnny on the spot. Jeff, I think he's hit every shot but one when they need it. 49-42. Virginia has to go back to work now, trailing by seven. Clock moving with 8.55 to go. Reach in foul. Day on Pepper. Third foul on Mike Pepper. Team foul number six against North Carolina. That's their limit. So now Virginia becomes eligible for the bonus if there's any more fouling. Could be an important factor in this game. Eight and a half minutes to go. Let Carolina will be in foul trouble. Virginia will go to the line. They're a good free throw shooting team. Letting Jeff Bowers, Wilson again. Three seconds. A young freshman from Woodbridge, Virginia. 49-44. And he certainly has redeemed himself the second half. He was 0 for 4 in the first half, but he's hit three out of his last four shots. They want to go to the four corners, I think. North Carolina wants to spread it out. Here it is. Eight minutes and 20 seconds to go. North Carolina's going to spread it out. And there's the ball batted away by Raker. Carolina is going to stall gain the four corners, but Virginia has its best team in there now to counteract it. They've got Lamp and Raker at the forwards a little quicker than they usually are, and with Wilson in the backcourt with Jones, they've got plenty of quickness to apply some defensive pressure. Well, depending on how things go, we may see uh, Ricky Stokes come on for Virginia. He's also extremely quick. Perkins, of course, is always going to give them the outlet here unless Sampson's going to come and press. For this press to really be effective, Sampson's going to have to come out, and he's signaling his coach now. Should I come out? Terry Holland says yes. This is a new attack on the four corners. They're using the big men. Perkins and Worthy. Always able to clear it back out to the man in midcourt. Now seven and a half minutes, about five-point lead by North Carolina. Tough position for Ralph Sampson now. He, he wants to play his man honestly, but yet he also wants to help out if somebody gets open driving to the basket. Tried to draw the foul there, but it didn't work. Sampson looked like he was shaken up when he fell there. Now, Holland's saying that. Sampson was hurt maybe a little bit. Well, he lost his footing. Sampson goes for the steal and fouls. That'll be the second foul on Ralph Sampson. Be no free throwing here. That's only the fourth team foul against Virginia. Terry Holland wants to know if Sampson's all right. But they don't want to gamble too much right now. There's still a lot of time left. They want to play good, solid defense, put as much pressure as they can, but not allow easy baskets or foul too early. Well, Lamp or Sampson's out of there. It wasn't really a factor against this offense anyway. They brought in Terry Gates. Well, Gates is in to uh, guard Sam Perkins, and now they put pressure here against the four-corner spread. Here comes Barworthy starting to drive. 
Breaker stays with him. North Carolina has not taken a shot since it went to this spread this time. Well, the Virginia defense has shut them off. They started the four corners with about eight minutes to go. They've used all almost two on Worthy. Push off by Worthy. Four fouls on James Worthy. That turns the ball back to Virginia. I think you saw that, though. Worthy was driving with his right hand, pushed off with his left. James Worthy wanted to go to the basket. Good, smart play, but he did push off with his left hand as he started his drive. The referee alertly caught him. Now Virginia can pull within three points with a basket. Over six minutes to go. It's really been a low-scoring game. 49-44, six minutes remaining. For the first time in a long time, Carolina has gone back to a man-to-man -man defense. And Sampson's back in there. Oh, Holland made his switch. Raker hot. Points since halftime by Raker. Virginia is the closest it's been since the opening minutes. 49 46. Down to three. Back to the four corners. Virginia defense against this four corner has been pretty well devised and executed. We're just playing good, basic man to man pressure defense, not gambling too much. And if they do gamble, they hope Ralph will be there to help out. And there's Wood with a big basket for North Carolina. Boy, Wood broke in there and under pressure made that basket. I think Dean Smith's instructions again with this kind of offense is to take it to the basket. If you're going to shoot, try and get fouled. He was almost fouled, but instead he made the basket. 51-46. North Carolina back to a five-point lead. Odell Wilson's made the big outside shots in this game. He had a notion again. There he goes again. Wilson. He's at four straight. Breaker and Wilson have brought this team back with a little help from Jeff Lamp. 51 to 48. Three point lead on a foul by Wilson coming down floor. Wilson picks up his first foul. That's five team fouls. There'll still be no free throwing, but Virginia would like to stay away from that seventh foul. That's a big factor to have going in the final minutes. It certainly is, and of course, they go, they shoot if they're fouled, and then we mentioned earlier, that's a factor. Interesting strategy here with the pressure defense. Here's the field goal percentage for the game thus far. Carolina way in front. Interesting strategy, though. Terry Gates has come back in. Sampson is out. I, I think Coach Terry Holland wants to rest Sampson and also put a little bit more pressure on defensively against the stall offense of Carolina. Well, Jeff, I think he's using an offensive and a defensive platoon. He's coming with Bobby Stokes now to play defense, and Wilson sat down. I wouldn't be surprised to see Wilson come back in if Virginia gets the ball. There's Stokes and Black. They're just chest to chest. As you well know, Jim, playing pressure defense is very tiring, and it's a good move by Terry Holland. There's a jump ball. Pepper and Jones. Another chance for a turnover here. Dean Smith, who ordered the four corners when his team was seven points ahead. It's now three. Now with four minutes and six seconds to go, Smith's going to want to talk to his players. They're going to get a timeout for North Carolina. 4.06 remaining. Don't go away. This one's got a long ways to go. Three points the difference. Disciplined himself. He hasn't had very many good opportunities in close. He hasn't tried to force the shot, nor has Virginia tried to force the ball into him. Early in the game, they couldn't hit the shot. They seem to be hitting it now. In fact, they are. Key possession here. Well, Jeff, Virginia's got its offensive platoon back in. Sampson and Wilson. This is the team that's got them back in the game. Raker and Lamp at the forwards. There goes Raker. What a great half of basketball Lee Raker has played. Still the four corners for North Carolina. They scored only two points in the four corners. Solid man for man. From away to the beam of Virginia Star. Four corners has not worked for him yet. They had the five-point lead. It's down to one. They have killed the clock, but I rather, I think 
they'd rather have been more aggressive offensively. An incredible comeback here by Virginia. They can take the lead with a basket over three minutes to go. Opel Wilson, what clutch shooting we've had from the young freshman. There goes Jeff Lamp, feeding to Raker. Raker inside, block, side to Clemson. The big guy was there when they needed him. Raker's shot was blocked. He was there to tip it in. Virginia has the lead for the first time since the opening pass. This kid crowd is going crazy. Virginia on top, 52 to 51. Out of the four quarters now, back having to attack. Now Wood playing with four fouls. There's a block by Sampson. Biggest defensive play of the game. Great play. Dean Smith is off the bench, wanting goaltending, but a great block by Ralph Sampson. Now Virginia's got the ball in the lead. First time since it was two to nothing. Here's Sampson, jump shot inside. As Worthy inside, blocked away from him from behind. It'll be North Carolina's ball. Virginia suddenly playing like the nation's third best team. Well, they're playing very aggressively, defensively, offensively. I think it was those a couple of outside shots they got that finally fell. It's got their defense going, and all of a sudden, Old Mo has switched to Virginia. Absolutely, and they're always going to go back and say, did North Carolina's strategy change contribute? Who knows? I've got its biggest lead of this game. Three points at 54-51 with two minutes and five seconds to go. North Carolina's ball. Tar Heels ranked 13th in the country. They were in command until Virginia made a stirring comeback. And now let's see what happens here at the end. Wow, the inside to Perkins. Now Virginia. Here comes Al Wood driving. Virginia tight defense. Inside Perkins, batted away. Virginia's got it. Here comes Waltel Wilson in the backcourt. Virginia's got the ball with a three-point lead. Minute 45 to go. Let's see if the Cavaliers spread it out. Ball almost fumbled by Wilson. Here's Samson pushed by Perkins. Three fouls on Sam Perkins. The prize freshman for North Carolina. In the bonus, Samson will go to the line. He's not a good free throw percentage-wise. That doesn't always tell you the story, but the chips are up. I have to compliment Ralph Samson. He was quiet for a long time. He didn't press. He waited until his opportunities came. He got two straight baskets, a chance at the free throw line, but he was ready when the opportunity came. That's a big free throw. Bonus shot. 55-51. Biggest lead for Virginia's five points right now, a minute and a half to go. North Carolina has four timeouts remaining. Virginia sagging back now. They're gonna force North Carolina. Here goes Al Wood driving. What a big basket. North Carolina uses one of those remaining timeouts right here. They kill the clock with a minute 17 to go. And a three-point lead by Virginia at 56 to 53. But Tar Heels can kill it only two more, three more times. And when we come back, we'll be ready for the stretch drive with 117 to go. Cavaliers up by three. January on ESPN means the best schedule of NCAA basketball anywhere. National powers, North Carolina, UCLA, Oregon State, Virginia, DePaul, and Maryland. Great conference play from the ACC, Pac-10, Metro, Southwest, and the Big East. All-American for Alf Sampson, Mark Aguirre, and Albert King. Professional and collegiate hockey. Live NHL games featuring powers Minnesota, Buffalo, and Toronto. NCAA action with Notre Dame, North Dakota, and the Colonial Cup Tournament. The premiere of FIS World Cup Ski, Professional Rodeo, and FA Soccer. Great specials as we look back at all 14 previous Super Bowls and bring you live reports from New Orleans about this year's classic. Favorites like SportsCenter, the most comprehensive sports news.
16 to 4 and perhaps 16 to 2. North Carolina led 49 40, and we really can't check to see if it was 51 40, but it's been a great comeback. Full court pressure now, and uh, Virginia gets the ball in play to Raker. On the double team, looking for help. Got to hurry. They got only 10 seconds to get it up, and Wilson just makes it in the front court. 108 to go as he crossed the line. Wilson being hard pressed by Jimmy Black. Uh, Raker will draw Worthy away from the basket. Virginia now spread out. They're looking for the easy basket. 53 seconds to go. Lamp driving. Feeds it to Raker for the rim. Great move by Raker. And a very alert move by Jeff Lamp, taking the opportunity to go to the basket, but he hitting his open teammate. 58 53. Five point lead by Virginia. They want the ball to Al Wood. There goes Wood under pressure. North Carolina again calls timeout. Weiss Wood. The Olympic star has hit the clutch bucket for North Carolina. And the team's got off to a very slow start. North Carolina then turned it a brilliant second and third quarter. But now what we have here are two great teams giving a solid performance. Virginia really came back strong. It's hard to believe we're in the same building we were in 30 minutes ago. The crowd has come alive. Their team came alive. But there's still 30 seconds left. And as you know, University of North Carolina never quits. And they'll use this last 30 seconds. Well, I saw them trail by eight points with 17 seconds to go and win the ball game once. So 58-55, three-point lead, 30 seconds for Virginia. At least it seemed like a long time. Carolina will have to try for the steal or foul right away. Jeff Jones gets it to Wilson. Virginia's going to get it over the line against the press. There's a push-off. Pushes by Mike Tupper. That's four fouls on Tupper. That stops the clock with 23 seconds to go. Of course, North Carolina's going to have to start fouling purposely, Jeff. That's the only thing left. Well, they even let a little clock go off. Here's the foul on Pepper. Black had almost stolen it, but there was a foul before the steal. Othello Wilson, one of the heroes for Virginia, just a freshman from Woodbridge, Virginia. Hasn't missed a free throw all year, Jeff. He's nine for nine, but I don't think he's been under the heat like he is right now. Well, these may be his two most pressure free throws, but he's come through this second half, and I'm sure his confidence is riding high. Well, it might just be one free throw. That's all he gets, unless he hits this first one. A one and one. Not what you call your average freshman, is it? No, it certainly isn't, and what a boost for his confidence for the rest of the season, coming back and having a, a great half against a fine Carolina team. Ball is shot by Othell Wilson. First one is this. Sampson looks inside, pays to Raker for a layup. Oh, I don't believe it. What a play. Six point lead, that might be the ball game. 13 seconds to go. A drive by Pepper, out of bounds. Charged by Pepper, Virginia will get it. Lee Raker sparking this comeback here by Virginia. Just made the basket and put it out of reach. He scored 60 points in the second half. I don't know who you're voting for, Jeff. My vote for player of the game goes to Lee Raker. I have to give it to Raker, too, but I will give a little credit to Othell Wilson. I thought he had a fine half. No too. question about it. It took more than one man to win this game for Virginia. Ball batted out of bounds with eight seconds to go. 61-55. Oh, an amazing victory this is going to be for Virginia. Looked like they were dead. 14 points behind. They just couldn't catch up. Cut it to seven points twice in the second half. Each time North Carolina went back on top by 11. Led by as much as 13. But suddenly Virginia got it together. And we must say also North Carolina went to the four corners and it seemed to slow down their attack a lot. They well, never worked today. They never were able to score offensively from the four corners. They ate some clock up, but they just couldn't get the basket when they needed it. But we've seen it work many, many times for the UNC program. Today it didn't. Two outstanding teams here. They'll play again, of course, later this year in Chapel Hill. That'll be quite a meeting on February the 3rd. So lock that date down. And we'll be back with you on some of these stations when Virginia plays Maryland next Wednesday night. Other stations will see North Carolina and NC State. There's Jim Laranega. Was a great player at uh, Providence College. An assistant coach here for Terry Holland. Inbounds play for Virginia comes into Jeff Jones. 
Joe's now fouled. Five seconds to go. Now Wood fouls out of the game. Wood played a clutch performance. 18 points. He really kept North Carolina alive in uh, the face of Virginia's great drive. Five seconds remaining. That'll be all for Al Wood, the Olympic star. He'll go out with 18 points. Top uh, scoring performance today for North Carolina. Lee Raker, the top scorer for Virginia with 18. Ralph Sampson, 14. That's not his low of the year, by the way. That's Sam Perkins returning. Sampson had only 11 points against James Madison. Jeff Lamb with 12. But I know Terry Holland has got to be delighted with the return of Lee Raker. He had not been contributing. And he used to, now he goes to the sidelines. And he's the winner of the Holly Forest Most Valuable Player Award. Lee Raker, the player of the game today. Well, he certainly played great. I saw him against Duke in early December, and he had a great game then. Perhaps he saves his best games for the comp toughest conference foes. Jeff Jones has come off knee surgery from the MIT. Hers Raker, our congratulations to him. What a competitive, very soft-spoken leader. Two by Jones, puts the game out of reach for sure. 63-55, one second to let Jimmy Black shoot. He makes it up the gun. Black scores to make it 63-57. The first the final score. Now, sensational comeback here today for the University of Virginia. Looked like they were out of the ball game, but they have won it at a very big victory, number 11 in a row for the third place team. So, that's the final score. Virginia 63, North Carolina 57, and we'll be back in just a 